My next Patreon question is a rather interesting one for a few reasons. Benjamin asked me if Aragon would be rebooted anytime soon. I was going to make a video saying that it was certainly possible and not out of the realm of possibility. And then last week, Variety revealed that Disney Plus was developing a new series based on the Aragon books, which was later confirmed to be true by the author Christopher Paolini. So that answers Benjamin's question, but it does not mean there is not more to discuss on the subject, and I can still make a lot of the same points I was planning on making. Aragon, of course, received its first screen adaptation with a movie released in 2006 by 20th Century Fox. The film received mostly negative reviews from critics, and book fans don't appear to have the fondest opinion of it either. The movie is perceived as a box office disaster, but it actually did not do too badly. The film's $75 million domestic gross is probably less than Fox hoped it would make, but it still managed to get to $250 million worldwide on a $100 million budget. Aragon also reportedly sold well on DVD. However, the largely negative reception probably gave Fox pause on moving forward with a sequel, and I'm sure other factors were in play. Fox released Percy Jackson Olympians four years later, and that movie actually made a little less than Aragon on a similar sized budget, but still managed to get another movie greenlit. Hollywood works in mysterious ways. After Disney bought 20th Century Fox, they also acquired the screen rights to Aragon, and so there were likely questions about if they would do anything with them. And in this age of streaming, it does appear like a lot of books are getting the opportunity to receive new adaptations with more involvement from the original author, especially ones that had stalled film franchises. Netflix seems to have been the first to jump on this, with Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. After Paramount decided to not adapt the other books following the underperformance of the first film, Netflix called up Daniel Handler several years later to possibly write a new adaptation for that streaming service. The resulting series allowed Handler the opportunity to not only adapt all the books to the screen, but also make alterations that he might not have been allowed to do when he originally wrote the stories. Disney Plus especially appears to see a lot of potential in doing this, hence the Aragon announcement. And much like Handler, Paolini will be working on the scripts for the series, and I assume he will also make modifications and change things. There will probably be things done so the books translate to the screen, and he will possibly also make decisions he wishes he could have done when he first started writing The Adventures of Aragon and his dragon friend Sephira. Remember they started writing the books as a teenager, and I'm sure like many things we wrote as teenagers, there are things he looks back on and thinks, hmm, that could have been done better. I mentioned Percy Jackson earlier, and that's another former Fox property that's getting a second life on Disney+. Rick Royden has been very open about his displeasure with the film adaptations of his books, and ever since the Fox merger went through, he's been having discussions with Disney about bringing Percy Jackson to the screen again, but in a way that's closer to his personal vision. Disney is also currently producing animated specials based on Diary of a Wimpy Kid, with author Jeff Kinney writing the scripts. They released the first special last year, based on the first book, and the second special, Roderick Rules, is set for release at some point this year. Kenny has even expressed interest in turning all of the books into animated adaptations. Disney is also partnering with other companies who have their own rights to certain source material. Paramount released a film based on the Spiderwick Chronicles in 2008, which condensed multiple books into one movie, and now Paramount is producing the series adaptation for Disney+. So with the recent announcements, it was inevitable Disney would look at Aragon and its sizable fan base and think a series could be a hit for them. My stance on film or television show adaptations has always been that every book should be adapted at least twice. One, because it's interesting to see how different filmmakers interpret the same source material, and two, because there's always someone out there who is disappointed in the first adaptation and deserves to see it given another go. I'm happy the Aragon fans will get the opportunity to see another take on the story and hopefully more to their liking this time. Thank you for your question, Benjamin, although I guess you already got an answer last week.